Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about if statements and how you can use them in your bots and software. Okay guys, an if statement is a logical statement and it's very, very powerful to use in your bots. We can basically perform actions based on an outcome. So this could be if a counter has got to a certain number, this could be if a username has been a username and password's been used, it could be if a certain text is displayed on a website. There's so many, many uses for an if statement. So it's something you really need to learn. Okay guys? So I'm going to show you a really basic example of an if statement in action, okay? But like I said, an if statement could be used for many, many things. It's a way for us to um, proceed with a certain um, code and based on an outcome or an action that's happening inside our bot. I hope that will become clear after you've seen um, a live demonstration. So what we, I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make a random number, a variable. So it goes back to our last lesson. This variable is going to be called random number, and it's going to hold a number between 0 and 10. And that random number will then be placed into a variable called random number so we've done that there okay and what we're going to do now guys is we're going to go to the script logic toolbox and we're going to use the if statement and we're going to say so it asks for an expression or what do we want to check um, in order to perform an action first of all we're going to add an else block so tick the option there the expression we're going to use, guys, or what we're going to check and then decide based on that on what action we're going to take is if the random number, so like you've seen before, we're going to pick a random number between 0 and 10. If that random number is less than 5, okay, so that's what we're going to check. Is the random number less than five so let's add that in you'll see that it's now on our, our chain block here of actions so we're initializing the um, bot we're saying pick a random number bass between zero and ten now then we're going to use the if statement and we're saying if that random number is less than five then do these actions underneath else if it's not so if it's over five then do these actions okay so if the numbers under five we're going to write in our log the number is under five okay else so if it's not under five then in the log we're going to put hey Oops, I'm going to put, hey, the number is over 5. So do you see what we're doing here, guys? I'll just go over it one more time. I know it's quite tedious, but like this is something you really need to learn. It will really help make your bots powerful, as you'll see in later videos. So we initialize the bot, guys. We're going to pick a random number between 0 and 10, and we're, set, we're asking Bass to check and perform an action based on that random number. So we're saying, look Bass, if the random number is below five, then in the log, put the number is under five, or else, if it's not under five, if the number is not under five, then perform these actions, or this action, which is put in the log, hey, the number is over five. And that's how an if statement works, guys. Obviously, this is a really basic example, but it's a good way for you to get your head round um, how logic works and this is the same in programming too we use um, if statements a lot so it's a way to take um, logical steps based on an outcome now in this case it's a random number it could be if there's a certain text on the website it could be if you've used a certain amount of accounts it could be many many instances where you use an if statement so let's just exit out of here and let's run the bot Okay, so obviously it done it straight away and said, look, hey, the number is over five. So the random number that we generated was over five in that instance. So we said, hey, if it is over five, then 
do this, which is, hey, the number is over five. So let's run it again. Okay. Hey, the number is over five. So once again, it ran. And the random number that was produced was over five. So it went to the else section and it, it followed what we told it to do, which was print in the log. Hey, the number is over five. Let's run it again. Okay, the number is under five. Okay, this time. I'm going to run it again. The number is over five. Do you see what's happening, guys? So we're producing a random number, and then based on the outcome of that, we said if the random number is under five, do this action. If it's over five, do this action. And that's the basics of an if statement, guys. It's it's a basic, <laughs> it's very basic how I've shown you how it's done, but as you'll see in later videos, it's used to make powerful decisions in our bots. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you've understood that. Please leave your comments if you've got any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.